Welcome back to the gym. Ooh, I screwed up already. This Sunday, we're gonna take the Alteza out for a drive with the family. I've just ordered a new hood for the Alteza. Uh, it doesn't have any overheating problems, which is shocking for being a 2JZ swap. Things like bumper design, all that stuff, that goes into play when you think about cooling the engine. So when you're putting a much more powerful engine into a car that wasn't designed to handle that kind of heat, you might have overheating issues. This one's got a big fat oil cooler, so it doesn't seem to be an issue. I had this thing ordered from Russia. It's a company called Mirum, M-I-R-U-M. Seem to be a pretty small company, but they have really nice style. They have a whole body, wide body kit for the Alteza. I picked up just their hood because the hood is really to my style and the body kit, not so much. Customer service has been really helpful. I have like 50 emails from these guys in an email chain. I ordered this hood like six weeks or so before I moved to Oka Okinawa. So I wanted to make sure that they could deliver it and they rushed it and they got it done and they got it to me like the week before I left. It was packed pretty well, but the ends poked through the packing. So unfortunately, it looks like it took some damage in shipment and I'm gonna try and find out how bad that is. The corners pierced through the padding. There was two stacks here. It pierced through both, on both sides. Here are the rain gutters, but it looks like it, it catches rain and it runs down. I'm assuming it'll go out in the front somewhere. So this is the damage I was talking about. It looks like it's pretty much isolated to the corners. This corner over here has some damage as well. I am hoping that this should be an easy fix. I have some friends here who do body work, but I also have to get the hood painted anyway to match the car. So it makes some sense just to have whoever paints the hood also fix it. The hoods look really nice. Uh, they sell them in carbon fiber and FRP. This is an FRP one because it's half. It was like $500 cheaper than the carbon fiber one. When I picked it up in Tokyo, there was some damage to the ends of the hood. So I'm concerned that it cracked all the way down. It's my first time opening, I'm really nervous. It wasn't cheap, it's about $1,000. They have a whole full wide body kit that they make for these cars. The wide body, not necessarily to my style. It's not, it's not bad, but it looks kind of draggy, like a drag race car. And that's not really what I'm going for. I'm going to crack open this hood. Well, phrasing, God, hopefully it's not cracked. The padding went right through. As you can see, it comes up quite a bit higher than the stock hood. See, the stock hood has a nice power bulge, actually, uh, which is interesting. See, it's got it's got a nice, nice little bulge right there, and a lot of people don't notice it. It's subtle. I don't dislike the stock hood, but this hood gives you a little hint that there's something else going on, which my car certainly does have. Uh, I really like the lines on it. Get here so we can see, look at them better. Oh, look at those Crocs. Yes, at least I'm matching my pants. All right, so it's got these two vents here and it's only vented at the top and that's where the rain channels are. So I think it'll actually hold up really well against rain. I like that it bulges right here. <clears throat> and I really like these lines here. Let's see. Uh, it doesn't look like it's damaged anywhere else. So that is great news. Cause I was really concerned about these points here and obviously the main weak points were here. This hood, I would like to weigh it. I'm gonna weigh it. Uh, I wanna weigh this hood and I wanna weigh the other hood because the other hood's stupid heavy. I see how much weight I'm losing. So I can pick this up with one hand. I can't do that with the other one. I'm excited. This is gonna be great. It's gonna look great. But paint matching white, it's really hard. So I'm not sure, should I paint the whole car? Oh, you know what? I've got another problem. It doesn't have water squirter things. Oh, how am I gonna do that? This. What am I gonna do about this? Probably have them installed? Where would they go? I'm wondering if I can have them put in on the car there. 
so that's the mirror hood. I got a little work to do before I can get into the car. I gotta get it repaired, I gotta get painted, and I gotta get the uh, water squirters. What are those called? Water squirters on the hood. I gotta get that done. Um, and then I can put it on the hood. So it'll be a while. Uh, we're still kind of getting settled in, but I finally got to see what it looks like and assess the damage. So great. Shout out to Miram. They do great work. They shipped it to me on a on a really quick schedule to, from, from Russia to Tokyo because I had to move down here. It worked out really well. Uh, I am currently talking to them now about the repairs that I'm going to have to do to the hood because of the shipping. I don't know how generous they're going to be in that because it's it's tough when you're a business. You do have to take some responsibility over shipping your product, right? Because you don't want to impact it. And you don't want to choose as a shipping company. And also, there's just an expectation that way from the customer. But on the flip side of that, they're a small company and they can't control what the shipping international shipping does with their stuff. So I'm not really sure what they're going to do. I will update you guys on that. Cool. Thanks for watching. See you Sunday. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.